Yes, you read that right. I got delivered to me a totally free, upwards of possibly a $2,000 comic book. Not a joke, not joking, totally free. I want it. Fair and square. We're going to see what's in this. I'm super excited to actually see it myself. And also, I have a a boxed hero comic book mystery box that was sent to me. I didn't purchase it, but I picked it up from my UPS store and I saw it and I was like, boxed heroes. I have looked at their website several times and it was sent to my UPS mailbox, which is for business or for my YouTube. So it was either sent to me from boxed heroes or was, or was purchased from a viewer and they mailed it to me. I really don't know. I don't know. I know I did not buy this either. I already looked inside this thing for a note. There is no note, but I have not actually opened it up to see what comics I got. So we'll do that second, actually. So just being transparent, I don't know who bought this for me, who sent it to me, or if it was sent by the company itself. Usually companies will contact me first, say, hey, we're, we're going to send you a free mystery box. I got nothing. So anyway, this is what you want to see. I want to see this really bad. So the company, that Spider-Man booth, which has some pretty good comic book mystery boxes, every about six to eight weeks, they, they sell their Superior Plus boxes that are 250 bucks a mystery box. And when I purchased the Superior V11 boxes like five months ago, every box you purchase puts you into a raffle, a drawing for bonus prizes. And then a few weeks after, all the boxes have been shipped out. The owner of that Spider-Man booth goes live on YouTube and on Instagram. And it does a randomizer, like randomizer.org or random.org website. He puts everybody's names in. You know, if you bought three boxes, you get your name in three times. And then there's prizes. He clicks the randomizer button and whoever, whoever is number one spot or whatever wins. The top totally free hit was estimated to be maybe as high as a $2,000 comic book. And I won. I didn't even know I won it, actually. I had a friend of mine, Wink Inc., who has a YouTube channel. I'm sure most of you actually subscribe to him also. But Wink Inc. actually uh, hit me up, Instagram, direct message, and said, Hey, Clint, are you watching the Superior Plus show? And I was like, no, I'm not watching Because actually, that night, I was babysitting my grandson. I said, I'm not watching it. He said... You won. I won what? He's like, you won the grand prize. You won. You you won. I was like, what? So I went back and I watched the live YouTube feed. And uh, yeah, there was like four or five really good comics that were getting off of totally free. And I've never won anything from this company before. And uh, let's see this. Let's see which comic it is that I won free i mean yes i had to buy a 250 dollars box originally to be to be put into the random drawing but cost wise this didn't cost me a thing so yeah so this is estimated to be possibly around a two thousand dollar comic book <laughs> That's a lot of bubble wrap. Okay, here we go. So inside this, I saw this bubble wrap right there. Superior, oh, it's already, oh, Superior Plus. So if you watched the Instagram live feed or you watched it on YouTube, you already know I'm about to show right now, but for, oh, there it is. But for the V11 box, this was the top hit like in all the boxes, or I should say boxes, but the top hit for the bonus drawing. Here it is. Amazing Spider-Man number one. The comic came out June 2014. This is the blank white variant cover, like a sketch cover. This is not for sale. This is going to my collection. We have an autograph, Stan Lee, and a sketch of Spider-Man by Stan Lee. 
makes it even a little more special. It was signed and sketched by Stan Lee on December 28th, 2017 on his 95th birthday. So on Stan Lee's 95th birthday, he signed this comic and did a little sketch of Spider-Man on his 95th birthday. And this is graded a perfect 9.8 white pages. So there's been ones that have sold like this. They have sold between $1,800 up to almost $2,000 because of the significance of when he signed this and an actual Spider-Man sketch by the man, Stan Lee. I won this for free. So JPG McFly, who owns that Spider-Man booth, the company who sells the mystery boxes, he even said that... Uh, he valued this thing at about $2,000, and he before I won this, he even said, whoever wins this book, do not sell it for a dime under like $2,000. It's not for sale. This is my very first and probably only sketch done by Stan Lee, the creator of Spider-Man. Not for sale. Not for sale. So, here we go. Boxed Heroes. I had to look this thing up what it even was. So I did not buy this. It was sent to me by either the company Boxed Heroes or maybe purchased by somebody and sent to me. I don't know. So if you are Boxed Heroes and you sent this to me, let me know. And I appreciate the free mystery box. Or if you were a viewer, you bought this and sent it to me. Thank you. Let me know. But I guess this is called the Hero Box. It's 30 bucks. I'm sure plus shipping charge, I'm guessing. 30 bucks. So I've never done a Heroes box. This is my first one. I've been on the website several times. I just have never bought one. We got a card here. Want to win? Graded comics. You have two chances to win this month. Tag us in a post on social media. Follow us on social media. Winner will be announced the first of every month. www.boxedheroes.com So inside of this looks like we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six comic books. So if they charge 30 bucks for this box times six books, you're paying five bucks a comic. And I'm guessing there's probably like a top hits available. More than likely, they're going to have, you know, some decent hits. I don't even honestly really know what to expect. Okay, so this comic right here is actually turned up, is like everything else is going this way, that one's going this way. So I guess this is probably going to be a I'll just do it first. I'm guessing this is going to be a top hit right here. It was like turned the other direction. These are actually all in Mylar too. Freaking Mylar. This says on the back, this is kind of nice. They have it written on there. The first appearance of Justice League Dark was in this. So DC Anniversary Issue 50th, July of 86, the first appearance of Justice League Dark. How cool is that? I don't have this comic. This is going to my collection. Okay, first comic. I like it. That's probably worth a little bit of money too, actually. Next one we have Fantastic Four, number 12. This cover looks very familiar. I'd look this thing up to see if it's the first appearance of somebody, but Fantastic Four, number 12. It says, King Size Annual, 1977. So far, I'm, I'm liking this box. We have Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, this is the Peach Momoko variant, too, of Horizon Zero. Anything done by Peach right now is on fire. This actually might be worth like 20, 30 bucks, just this comic right here. Okay, I'm impressed, Box Heroes. We have the Amazing Spider-Man number 204. Looks like Spider-Man with a black cat appearance in that. I like these little bit older comics. This is from 1980. A 40-year-old Spider-Man comic. I'll take it. That's awesome. Next we got the Punisher War Journal number 1. Back of this thing it says it is the origin of the Punisher in this. Everything is Mylar, too. That's awesome. Last one, we have the Uncanny, the Uncanny X-Men Days of Future Past. Looks like we, we got a trade on this. Trade paperback. That That's the Box Heroes Mystery Box for 30 bucks. 
I haven't pulled the trigger on, on this company. I've just been kind of waiting. You know, I've looked at them for several months now. I think I actually might, I might buy some of their mystery boxes. This is actually pretty good. Let me actually look up a couple of these comics really fast just to see some value. This thing sells for a high in like mint condition for about 40 bucks. Mid-range, 12 to 15, I'd say. This is a... Uh, actually, it's got some like bins on it, but everything on this thing looks like it's pressable. A lot of the stuff's pressable on the front cover. It's got a couple of... Uh, it's got two color-breaking spine ticks. I put this thing at probably about a 9.0. Mid-range, 12, 15. I'd say this is probably 15, 20 bucks. For this is says the first unofficial team appearance of the Justice League Dark. So the Fantastic Four is not worth very much, probably like five, ten bucks. It's pretty high grade though. I'll keep it. It's going to my collection. The Horizon Zero Dawn, the Peach Momoko variant, maybe ten bucks or so. That's not bad. Now look up one more, look up the Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man number 204. This is the third appearance of Black Cat. This is actually a pretty high grade comic. So probably worth about five, ten bucks tops. But yeah, that's actually, that was a nice mystery box. I'll see you next time. Not for sale. I'm out.